Hey guys and welcome back. I guess I can say that but it, here's another super quick tutorial for the PC users. It's not going to be super quick but it's going to be a I guess a decent amount that's going to give you enough information to help you to get your um, Sims 3 games to upload correctly. I was asked to do a tutorial for the PC since I didn't want for the Mac which I do not mind helping anyone which is not a problem at all. But I did not have any issues with my game uploading. Why can you say uploading? I did not have any issues with my game downloading and installing the Sims 3 1.5.7.6 update patch. Um, if you hear any extra wind, extra, I guess, quote unquote, breathing, that's not me. That's my fan blowing on me. So I don't get hot because it's a little warm. Okay, we can go ahead and get started. Um, a super quick disclaimer. If you downloaded a pirated game, uh, pirated download, uh, please visit that website that you got or download that game from because they should be able to help you and tell you what to do or how to update your game. If you even have the base game or you have a stuff pack or SP or you have an expansion pack or an EP or you have some or have a little or don't have just one or just none at all you can just ignore this disclaimer but if you have even one thing that's downloaded or pirate a pirate to download please visit that website to have them help you and let them know that you need help and tell them what you downloaded from them what you actually installed with the disk um, if you want to know what is a pirate to download a pirate to game it is a game that is modified to allow other people to download install it and use it without a game disc because the original person that had that downloaded game modified the game to allow other people to do the same thing basically which is good you know people do have you know financial issues and troubles we all do that's life so I'm not looking down on anyone you know you feel that that website is uh, safe for your PC then go right ahead okay enough about that here's the steps that I did. of course we have to back up our games go to libraries documents electronic arts the sims 3 folder right click on it copy it go to desktop paste it on there right click paste it and then there you go you super way to back up your game now you can always get a disk or a flash drive UBS USB UBS USB flash drive if you have a big flash drive that can handle all that um, files and stuff like that and use that that's not well three ways the desktop burn it on a um, DVD or use a flash drive so super fastest way would be your desktop um, so I didn't do that of course we should but I'm lazy okay the reason why you want to back up your game because somehow the the Past can mess with your game, delete all your saved games or having your mods or custom content not showing up, which happened to me in the last patch, the 1.55.4, because my saved games were there, but they was not loading. So it's a good idea to back it up, which I'm glad I did back up my game. And uh, I was able to get it by you know doing some steps, some steps to get it done, which I did uh, talk about in the previous video maybe video number four I can't really remember but um that's what I had to do so okay so what I did was um okay let me talk about the uh release date the release date for the 1.57.6 was released on no November Jesus September 4th which was on a Wednesday normally I go ahead and do my updates you know pretty pretty fast I would say that because I you know wait maybe a day or two or three and go ahead and do it um so since it was on a wednesday i said i'll just wait and do it that weekend maybe friday or saturday to give me that day maybe extra day to work on it so i just um maybe i was playing the sims 3 actually and i said let me go ahead and update my game well, i think i was doing something and then i started playing it after a while so let me go ahead and update so i went ahead and you know save my game exit out of it i had to launch my launcher again because normally it closes out when you load your game when your game was loading so once I did that I um, went to games update tab that's on the left side of the launcher and then I seen that I didn't have the the link or 
the option to update so I end up clicking refresh and a few seconds later there it was so I end up reading what was the update about mainly about bugs and glitches that other simmers have encountered and it also mentioned that you should remove your custom content and your mods which I definitely was not going to remove my custom content I was got gladly move my mods because maybe like what five or six mods that I have and I have over like 6,000 custom content no I have to do that's the last option but I sh instead of me um, cutting the mods from my uh, Sims 3 fold I should have went ahead and deleted it because I would need the updated versions of those mods which I didn't think about that at the time but it did work either way so so just go ahead and delete your mods and because you have to update it anyway so once I you know pasting my mods cut them from my sim3 folder paste it to my desktop I read that you should um, disable your custom content I tried to do that and it crashed on me but before I even did that when I first launched my launcher after I saved my game the launcher gave me some okay I have that error message before something about cannot connect to origin but I ended up trying it anyway and it worked but it kept crashing after I tried to um, get my game to update for the um, file to show up it showed the file for me to install but when I tried to go to one of the tabs I tried to go to and to get it for me to disable I was on the right tab and I seen that I could check it but for some reason it cra crap it kept crashing on me so I said forget it I'm not gonna worry about disabling my mod I mean my custom content I'm just going to install the um, install my um, the update so once it start doing that I said you know forget it let me try origin because you know once you have to do your update for the sims 3 most of the time you have to do one for origin so of course I had to do one and I remembering origin um, mentioned the update so I either I clicked on cancel or I clicked something I shouldn't have clicked on for some reason it went away so I went ahead and signed into origin to see if I can get it to automatically update again but it didn't I you know clicked here clicked there to get it to update and I said you know what forget it so when I went to origin I did close out my launcher so I end up um, once I closed out of origin I opened my launcher again because I closed it out we're going to origin so I opened up my launcher again seeing that the file for me to update was still there I checked on it and I said choose install I think choose install and then it then it you know did its thing and then I remember you know I need to go ahead and close it up because it's finished downloading so once it finished downloading after I um, clicked it it gave me a message saying you know the launcher's open which I already did that and so I just went ahead and to continue or something they could, they could go ahead and install so once it installed it said that it was successfully done so I said okay cool let me put my mods back in here and I ended up playing it and I was good to go so I really had myself prepared to you know do some work and get it to um, up and running like it should but I didn't so I'm, I mean, I'm glad that I was able to get it updated in that same day okay so enough about what I did here's what you need to do just to update your game uh, the first step of course you want to back up your game to the desktop go to libraries documents electronic arts the Sims 3 folder right click on the folder choose copy go to desktop right click on the desktop go to paste and you have a really fast way of backing up your game and what you want to do is go back to libraries documents electronic arts the sims 3 folder and choose mods and get all your mods that's there you can I would just say go ahead and delete it don't try to save it because you're going to have to get a downloaded we're going to install a new version of those mods. So let's go ahead and delete it. So once you go ahead and just delete it, put it, on, put it in the trash can, you can permanently delete it if you want to, that's fine. Um, and once you have that deleted, so we want to go back to your launcher. If it's not um, loaded, just go ahead and double click on it to get it loaded. Choose um, Game Update. You should see a file saying that you need to update this. And if you don't, just click Refresh to get it to load will refresh your game for you and then once you have that you see your file click on that file and then choose install I believe so once you let it do its thing it's downloaded and after it's downloaded you can go ahead and close it out and if you don't close it out it'll tell you 
launcher is open once it gets ready to start to install it. So once it gives you a message or once it's finished download, just go ahead and click it, close, close it. And then once it installs, it'll give you a message saying that it was successfully downloaded. That's great. So go ahead and download your mods again. A new version of your mods. Put them in there. Play your game. If it loads correctly, your save game shows up. Your custom content shows up and or your mods show up. Have fun. That's a great plus for you. You updated your game with no problem. Now for the people who had issues with their game and experienced some of the things that I did and the launcher does not work for you this time, uh, I will give you the link on the Super Patcher. Just follow the steps from the um, EA forums on how to um, download and install the game. Of course, you want to be out of your uh, save game, I mean, out of your Sims 3 game and your launcher. So just click on the link, install it, let it click, click on the link, download it, then let it install into your game. And once it's finished installing, you get an error message. Um, I give you some steps to do that, but if you don't get an error message, um, that's great. Put your custom, well, put your mods back in if you have any. Well, put your new version mods back in if you have any. If you didn't remove your custom content, that's fine. Just play your game, see if your save game was loading. If everything's um, the way it should be before you did update, then that's great. Have fun playing your game. Now, for the people who who had issues with the um, Super Patcher. Um, not working. What well, I mean, not working is mean that the Super Patcher was able to download and install, but you don't have your um, save games because of content on mods not showing up. I would suggest to clear your cache and then try the Super Patcher. But before you start, try the Super Patcher, if you do the launcher the first time and you get an error message clear out your cache where I can give you a link to show you how to do that and just clear your cache and then do the launcher update again um, just a quick note when you're doing the clearing cache option clearing the thumbnails eh, kind of can be important but this is going to take your game a little bit longer to load all your custom content thumbnails which means if you have uh, 50 tables of custom content it's going to take a little bit longer for your game to load all 50 tables of custom content or all chairs or whatever um, section you're in just remember that I did that one time and believe me I probably won't do it again so uh, that's my personal preference so if the clearing your cache and doing the launcher does not work then do the super patcher this is most likely your sure way of getting your game to update and install the um, update for you once you have your game uh, installed well download and installed by the by the super patcher then just play your game and you know put your mods back in of course you have to have them updated and and see if your game loads correctly if it does so that's great but if it don't um, if your game's not loading your custom console's not loading your mods not loading make sure your mods are updated um, clear your cache again uh, try that get your um, your cache cleared um, try your game again if it does not load your custom content is not there or even your saved games are not there check out my how to video number four I want to say it's number four it mentions about your custom content your saved games or your mods are not showing up after the 1.55.4 update and most likely your saved game is missing a file called the meta.data files which I want to say is the right name but I can't remember but yeah check that out but like I always said before you know please reach out to me send me a message uh, post a comment on my video question on my video you can email me inbox me I do not mind helping anyone at all but yeah I hope you like it and you know what you do like favorite and subscribe and I'll talk to you later later guys